Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation from 2015 Round 6, set by Czech Republic Setters, and this is another puzzle by Jakob Razdira. Sorry about the pronunciation on this one. So this is a classic Sudoku worth 45 points. I've already explained how the point system works on the first puzzle in this set. Um, and that means that this is just going to be harder than the previous ones. So um, in the link below, uh, description below, you'll find a link to this puzzle as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation Sudoku archive, all of the thousands of puzzles they have published. Um, and let's have a look at the rules and then I'll get straight on to the puzzle. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. So it's often the case with these harder classics that, that, that when we get to the harder ones, that some more advanced techniques are you needed than some of the easier ones. I'm not sure what will be needed for this one. We'll see how we go. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now I can see that, for example, this row, let's look at just some basic pointing stuff first. So I can see two and two means that two is in one of these two, but this two is looking up saying that's not a two, so this is a two. Okay, so let's keep looking for stuff like that. Three, actually, this is good. Three can't be here or here, so this is a three, which means three is in one of those two. Actually, I'm getting somewhere with this. Five now can't go in these, so this is a five, and this is a triple. This is two, eight, and nine, and I can't put eight here, and I can't put two here. That does mean that I've got this quadruple here. Those are only four different digits because they can't be two, eight, nine, five, or three, but I'm not sure I'm looking at that yet. Let's look at this. Oh, no, let's keep looking. This triple, the triple in this row has been calling out to me, but I should do other things first, such as this being a four, because I've got two fours looking into this box. So this is a four, and now I've got another triple in row five. Let's do the one that's calling to me. It's distracting me. So this is not one, two, three, four. It's five, eight, and nine. Now there's no eight there. There's no five there now because of this one. That has not helped me. Okay, I should not have been surprised that that did not help me. Okay, so twos can't be in any of those or either of those because of the two here and the 289. So this becomes a two. That is useful. And this is now a triple. So let's put it in. One, four, nine. And there's no four in either of those. So that's the four and this is a one, nine pair. So this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go in. Now I can't put a six there. So six is in one of those two, which I already had if I'd looked at the pointing sixes. I just hadn't got to it yet. But I'm not, oh, this can't be eight because of the two, eight, nine. So what is this triple? One, six, seven. So these are one, six, seven. So this is only one or six, and this is one or seven. Aha, I just found a naked single. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, all looking at that cell. That's a six, which makes that a one, that a seven. This is the digit that hasn't been placed in the box, which is a nine. The six looks across saying that's not the six, so this is the six. The nine looks up making that the five, which takes five out of those, and these are an eight, nine pair. This is only two digits that haven't been placed in the column, which seem to be one and three. Don't see how to resolve them, though. But there's a triple in this box. One, three, nine. Well, there's no nine there. So this is a one, three, and this is the nine, which means this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a five. So this is the six and this is the five. This is going to hit with a sting at some point. The four is looking across saying that's not a four and they, they can't put four in any of those. So this is the four and this is a one three, giving me one threes in these columns. So what's the triple here? One, three, nine. So this is one or nine because it can't be three. This is one, three, nine. Okay. Is there another naked single somewhere? Probably. So these are 1789. So this is 179 because it can't be 8. That is 7, 
eight, nine, because it can't be one. This this naked single was easy to see because of one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. When the digits are grouped like that, it's easy, but Z, I'm not seeing any other groupings that are helping me. Okay, this is where it starts getting a little bit more tricky. Three is in one of those two. Six is in one of those two. Seven is up here. Eight is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. And four is in one of those two. This is an X-wing on fours, but that's not helping me at all. I'm trying not to get to the point where I'm just pencil marking everything. So the ones and threes. I'm not sure they're helping me yet. So four sixes in one of those two giving me an X-wing on sixes as well. So fours and sixes are restricted. So this can be one, two, this can't, can't be one, two, it can't be four, five, six. So it's three, seven or eight, because it can't be nine. The quadruple here, is three, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are three, seven, eight, nine. Now I can remove eight from there and I can remove eight for eight and nine from there. So this is three or seven, but that's a three, seven, eight, nine quadruple. There's no, I can't put five there. I can't put five there. Five had to be in one of those two and that five is looking across. That was the easier thing to see. That's a five. So now five is up here, right there. That's a five. I think that's all the fives. So that probably hasn't helped as much as I wanted. Yeah, that probably hasn't helped as much as I wanted. I've probably just ended up over pencil marking this column. So I might remove those. This column now that I've got the five is one, two, six, nine. So this is only one or six, because it can't be two or nine. This can't be six or nine, so it's only one or two. This is one, six, nine, because it can't be two. Hmm. I don't feel these ones and threes are what's helping me. Because of their position, they're not really doing much. I think it's got to be something over here, but I can't see it yet. Three can't be here, here, or here. So three is in one of those two. So three's not here, three is in one of those two. So these are restricted. They can't be one, two, so these are just seven, eight, nine, and there's no eight here. This is just seven, nine, this is seven, eight, nine, and that's not nine, this is seven or eight. So what can this be? Because if I could restrict this to three, seven, and eight, I'd have a triple. So what can this be? A blast. One, three, seven, eight. But it does mean two is in one of those two. No, this is not it. Oh, but oh no, 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 no. I was about to say nine is in one of those two, but that's not true. Oh. 
Okay. Is there something going on with ones? I don't... I'm wondering if there's some sort of Y-wing going on. This sort of is, you know. If this is a three, this is a seven. And that's a nine. Three here makes that seven and that nine. One here makes this three which means this is a one or a nine, and that's a one nine pair. Which means that's eight, seven, eight. That's a three. That's not quite there. But there's something, if this is a one, that's a one nine. And that would have to be a one. Which works. No, it doesn't. No, it wouldn't have to be a one. I've got a one in the box. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm, in, I'm lost in the weeds here. Which digit... I've got two down to those. That's not helping me. Three. Three is down to these. Which I'm not seeing. Four is down to those, which is fine. Five, I have all of. Six is in those and those. Seven. This is not feeling productive. There's something I'm missing here. Eight is in one of those two, one of those two, one of those. Oh, this isn't an eight. Eight is in one of those two, one of those two, one of those three, one of those three. Hang on. Oh, and one of those two. No, I'm lost. Nine is in one of those, 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 one of those. Well, there's a skyscraper going on there. I th uh, Not a skyscraper, a swordfish going on there, I think. Because in these 
three columns, the nines can only go in those cells. So if I put a nine here, basically I've got three columns disposed where nines can only go in three places. This could be it, you know. So if I put a nine here, in these two columns, I then end up with an X wing in here, which means if I put an if I put a nine here, nine has to, nine either has to go in one of those two in this column, and if I put it here, in this column it has to go here. Basically, the question is, what happens if I put a nine into any of these other cells in the rows where I've marked orange? If I was to put a nine here. In this column, the nine would have to go here. In this column, the nine would have to go here. And then in column six, I've got nowhere to put a nine. And the same is true with any of the yellow cells in places where I've marked orange, because I've got three columns where I've only got three rows in which to put a nine. And because I've got three columns and only three rows to place them, if I was to place a nine anywhere else within those three rows, we, then I've got to put four nines in those rows to fulfill those three columns. It doesn't work. So none of these can be nine. So I can turn around and say those aren't nine. So this isn't a nine. This isn't a nine. Is that helping me? Now I've got an X wing on nines. So this is a one, because if this was a nine, so this is... So it's a swordfish and that was followed by an X-wing. If this is a nine, in this row, I'd have to put a nine here. And in this row, I'd have to put a nine here. And that doesn't work. So this is a one. This is a nine. That takes one out of here and here. The nine, well, there was no nine there. The seven, eight looks down, making that the one, which says that's not the one. Okay. Can I do so? Problem is, when I do this, I find it very hard to scan from here. The one looks across, making this the three and this the one, which makes this the three and this the one. That says this isn't the three, this is the three. Now in this row, the only place I can put a nine is there, which makes this the eight, this the two, this the nine, which means this is the six. Uh, this can't be the nine in the column. This is the nine in the column. Now this can't be the nine on the green X-wing, so that's the three, which means those are the nine on that X-wing and this is the eight, and I've done all the nine swordfish followed by X-wing. I've no idea if that's what was needed or not, but that's what I found. The seven, eight pair makes that the three. This is now a one, two. So these, well, there's no three there. There's no six there. These are four and seven. The two is looking down, making that the one and that the two. The six is looking up, making that the one. So this has to be the six now. I can't put six here or here, but I need a six in the column, which means this is the four. This is the seven that hasn't been put in the box, making that the eight. This is the seven. The eight looks down, making that the seven and that the eight. The eight looks down, making that the seven and that the eight. And the seven looks down, making that the four and that the seven. And that is the correct solution to the puzzle. A swordfish followed by an X-wing is what I found. There may have been another way through. I don't know. And the fact that it was on nines, so it was on the last digit I looked for. But I'm really happy with finding that one, actually. Um, 17 minutes. World champions would be wanting to do that puzzle in four and a half. And I know that world champions will see a swordfish like that without coloring. They'll just look at a grid and go, oh, a swordfish. Yay. <laughs> I won't. Um, I normally can't see swordfishes at all, so I'm really happy with finding that one. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you were able to find that one. Um, and if you weren't, I hope the video helped you. Thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.